This is an example of program number one, guess a number, for CS141, spring 2017 at UIC. When we start running our program, this is what we'll see is prompt up on the screen. We can come in here and type a number. Let's say we choose 532 as our first sample number. It's helping us with the math. So it takes our original number 532, reverses it, giving 235, and then we get uh, the difference when we do the subtraction. So press Y to continue can be upper or lower case. Then we again take our result of 297. So here's 297, reverse those digits giving 792, and now we do an addition. Before you continue though here with this program, there's a chance for the user of the program to um, ask their friend or whomever what the answer is. And you could have written down on a sheet of paper your forecast of what you think the number is, if you think you know what that is. Um, and then the program can go on and do it for you. In my case, I'm guessing that it's 1089. Let's see what it is. Just play this. Oh, look at that. It's sure enough, it's 1089. So um, then we can go on and we could exit the program here. We could try it again. Let's run the program another time. And this time, let's choose 275. So this time, when we reverse the digits, 275, reverse it, 572 is larger. So the larger number always goes on the top when doing the subtraction. So we can go, yes, to continue. And we do the addition as before. I think it might be, oh, maybe 1089. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Wow. Twice in a row. Again, it could exit the program. And let's try um, a different number. This time, let's try 35. So now 35, you could think of it having a leading 0 right here, 0, 3, 5. And we reverse that, you get 5, 3, 0. And we can do the subtraction again, and we continue. And actually, here for these, I'm only checking for X for exit. Otherwise, it could be Y or D or whatever. I could type in, um, you know, T or something. It's still going to work in this case because I'm only checking X for exit. And we scramble the numbers again, and answer is 1089. So that works properly. So um, one of these times here, I'm going to do option for T, but I'm still doing option X just so we can focus on this part for now. And here, if we choose, say, just the digit 9, it says all three digits are not different, different exiting the program. That's because digit 9 is implicitly 009, and so there's two zeros, and so those are, are duplicate digits, and so uh, it just stops the program at that point. So now let's run it all the way through. Let's say we have a number like uh, 123, we do the subtraction, we continue, we do the addition. Now we're going to do T to test all possible combinations. And again, really any non-X value would work here. And what's going to happen is it's going to print out all the ones, all the values between 1 and 1,000 that don't work. So here are all the ones that have duplicate digits. And there are 280 of these values that don't work. So that's what your program should do. Enjoy.